catheter-based renal sympathetic denervation has captured the imagination of interventionalists interested in treating hypertension due to renal artery disease. Now another twist in this story is emerging. We know that hypertension is associated with impaired glucose metabolism and insulin resistance, and chronic activation of the sympathetic nervous system may contribute to either condition. Now in circulation, there is a report on a pilot study looking at the effect of catheter-based renal sympathetic denervation on glucose metabolism and blood pressure control in patients with resistant hypertension. The researchers studied 37 patients with therapy-resistant hypertension who underwent bilateral catheter-based renal denervation and 13 patients who were assigned to a control group. Three months later, mean blood pressure was impressively reduced in the treatment group, consistent with earlier results of such interventions. But in addition, three months after renal denervation, fasting glucose and insulin levels were both also decreased. In addition to that, mean two-hour glucose levels during oral glucose tolerance testing were reduced significantly by 27 milligrams per deciliter. As expected, there were no significant changes in blood pressure or metabolic markers in the control group. This pilot study may signal an exciting new avenue for therapy. Renal denervation not only seems to significantly reduce blood pressure, but also improves glucose metabolism and insulin sensitivity. This novel procedure may therefore provide protection in patients with resistant hypertension and metabolic disorders at high cardiovascular risk. We will need larger trials, of course, to substantiate this effect, but this is great news for our diabetic, high-risk patients with hypertension. I'm Peter Block with the CardioSource Heart Minute.